The Ela humans are some of the many races in the world of Vera. For over a thousand years, the House of Linith ruled over the Ela humans, and for the majority of the Linith reign, a golden age had endured. About a century before the fall of Vera, there was a great war of the Undying, to which the House of Linith fell, leaving no suitable heir to the throne. Due to this, the country fell into chaos, and eventually a fragile republic rose. The alien humans, now overseen by an emperor elected through the Council of Five, whom are five humans who govern the greatest cities in the Aelin Empire. The empire being the largest nation in all of Vera by far, with over 8 million among them. The land of the Aelin humans stretches far and wide as their borders touch upon every other nation. Their armies are widely feared throughout the world, with the Aelin humans having interests of expansion on the seas of Vera, they are easily able to deploy their armies to any shore. Due to this, the Aelin Empire uses fear to bully city-states into bending to their will, and if they refuse, they may find themselves at the end of a sword. Within the world of Vera, there are two playable types of Ayla humans. Those being the Kalar, whom are built around the foundational principles of build, order, and civilization. Before the fall of Vera, the Kalar's empire was the largest of all, as they planned to do the same in the New World. Extremely loyal to their roots, the Kalar humans will rise to any challenge. The second human faction being the Veloon, whom live by trade, law, and hardship. The Valoon forge in the heat of the desert and are also known as the blade that bends but never breaks. The Valoon have grown into one of the wealthiest empires within Sanctus, the world where citizens of Vera fled to through the divine gateways as Vera began to fall. Their history has taught them that the world is not a friendly place and that it is either kill or be killed. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on the Ayla humans in Ashes of Creation. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to check out my Duns and Dwarf video as well when it pops up in the end of this video. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.